fundamental science, that is the substance that allows us to translate our inventions into practical products for the world. Without basic science, there is nothing to translate. So throughout my own career, my research has balanced basic fundamental research with applied and more recently translational science. For us, the basic science was around the question of can we invent reactions that can proceed in biological settings as complicated as the human body. Bioorthogonal chemistry is a type of chemistry that my lab invented, which by definition does not interact with or interfere with a biological setting. So another way to put this is that bioorthogonal chemistry is chemical reactions between two functional groups that can find each other and form a bond even when they're surrounded by complex biological materials like cells or even tissues of a living organism. And it's turned out to be useful for many different applications. Uh, for example, we use bioorthogonal chemistry to do molecular imaging. So we can attach imaging probes to biological molecules in living animals and use those probes to study how molecules change inside animals and inside cells. Other groups have used bioorthogonal chemistry to manufacture new kinds of medicines uh, and even to deliver therapeutic molecules to tissues in the human body. And there are bioorthogonal chemistries that are being tested in human cancer patients for chemotherapy. In the early days of my career, my students and I spent a lot of time thinking about the fundamental reactivities of organic molecules and how we could tune their reactivities to create bioorthogonal chemistries. And that was very fundamental science. We spent a lot of time doing mechanistic studies, uh, doing structure reactivity analyses, uh, and it took time to invent reactions that actually have all of the qualities that a bioorthogonal chemistry needs to have. So I would say the first maybe 10 years of my career was very much focused on fundamental reaction development. And then it was in the second decade that we started to shift more towards applications. And just in the last seven years, since I arrived at Stanford, we have focused more on translation, which means taking the discovery from our laboratory and creating a candidate for a human medicine that actually gets tested in human patients. But that was a 25-year journey for me that started with basic science.